A D and B V. How's everyone doing? Oh yeah, that's probably what you'd like as well, a bit of Well D and B. Let's get a bit out. So yeah, basically just gonna do um a little review of uh this juice I got um basically as a competition win from DMBV. Four bottles thirty mil man, like top quality as well, the packaging's amazing, very descriptive, tells you everything you need to know, made in Britain obviously. Yeah, fantastic voyage. I think I will be going on a fantastic voyage with these. So yeah. Enough for the chin wag, let's get on with the review. So yeah, the first one. It's called Wonderlust. 75, 25 VGPG, 3MG. Thank God it's 3MG, because uh, I like dripping and that. And gets a little bit, um, Strong, let's just say that. Get a little bit of a headache with the old uh, 6MG. Yeah, cool. Smells really fresh and fruity. I'm on the uh, Hexome V2. To ways up the pentometer. Go. Nice. I just dip a little bit more on just to saturate it as it's hot. So yeah, how's everyone been doing? I've just been mad busy, so I haven't really been about. Got the old dodge on it. Got it as a gift off my mate Andy. Got her. Thanks, mate. They are superb. Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That, bloody banging. Wonderlust is luscious sweet strawberry blended with tropical guava rounded with creamy vanilla custard. Bloody hell, man. When I like something, I start swearing. So yeah, I bloody like that. I need some more of that, actually. Not wrong about, um, he was looking forward to the review because he's really worked hard on them. You can tell he has. You can tell he's worked hard on that recipe. I mean, it's like an explosion of like fruits, really mixed finely with custard, which is nice. Mm. Really nice sweet taste on the end as well. Because I'm not a big fruit person, you see, usually. But I really like that. I give that Wonderlust on the Fantastic Voyage range 9 out of 10. Really nice. I mean, if you haven't tried their juices yet, yeah, they are just by that one, Wonderlust is amazing. The next one we've got is called Paradise Found. And all part of the Fantastic Voyage range. Pretty cool, like sort of like um, boats back in the sort of 1800s, and then it's got some really good graphics on there. This one's 75% VG as well. Paradise Found is a juicy ripe peach that cuts through a creamy Greek yogurt and a touch of vanilla. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> I like these a fruit with a little bit of 
custard sort of thing with them. Because, <coughs> um, I love custards. I like fruits, they're alright, but yeah, just nicer with a bit of custard. I always find. Yeah, this one smells lush as well, man. Perfectly steeped as well. Clear as anything. Clear as the sunshine out in the day. Beautiful. Mmm. That's a very, very nice tasting one as well. Very pleasant tasting. Get the peach. It's rounded off the cream and the vanilla. Mmm, that's lovely as well. I love that one. I'm going to give that one 9 out of 10 as well because, like the first one, really nice, fruity, fresh. Really fresh tasting. Hasn't got a lot of shit chemicals in it, you can tell. Really nice tasting fruit. A nice custard on the end. Yeah, 9 out of 10 for that one, definitely. Right, the next one. This one's called Maiden Voyage. Maiden Voyage is a Moorish sweet apple layered with crumble topped off with creamy custard. With a dash of cinnamon. Mmm, nice. Bit like the um, apple Danish things you used to get. Mmm, nice. Really nice, man. I'm I'm extremely happy that I won this uh, comp. Cause you know sometimes you win comps, you get the juice, and you're like, oh, I hate it, and then you trade it or whatever. Cause you know you might not like fruits or custards. But these are actually top notch, mate. These are the best I've had so far. Smells really nice. They just smell really fresh, you know what I mean? They haven't got a lot of shitty chemicals in it, you can tell. Keep it simple, innit? Right, let's get a little bit of this on here. Hope you're all having a good Sunday, DMBV. Yeah, I'm not really um, a fan of uh, this one. This one's apple layered with crumble topped up with creamy custard with a dash of cinnamon. I'm not a big apple apple vapor, you know what I mean? Still lovely. Still tastes really nice, fresh. Bit of custard, bit of crumble in there you can taste. But yeah, like them two were it for me. Actually, now I've got on a higher wattage with the pentometer. It's coming through more. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, definitely vaporable, man. All day sort of shit. I'm gonna give that one eight out of ten. It's not as nice as the first two. My personal preference, obviously. Everyone's got different taste buds. There'll probably be people out there who like the other two or don't like the two I like, you know what I mean? It's just how it is. Right, the last, but certainly not the least, is Diamond Mist. 75 VG again. Diamond Dust is chunks of chocolate encapsulated with an ice cream delight with hints of peppermint and vanilla. Wow. Wow. Give that one a little go. Just burn it off a bit. I love this hex because you don't have to go down so low. Like a mech, you know what I mean? 0 0.14 and one bat. It's a bit risky. See, I've got two bats, 20 amp chip in here, one in 0 0.35 on some fuse claptons. 
Get about what? 120 watts, man. Batteries last all day. Sweet as a nut. Okay, let's get on with the last one. Yeah, yeah. Lately, I have been trying peppermint vapes. My friend Andy Otter, he makes a mean aero mint or mint aero. Tastes exactly like mint aero, it does. It's amazing. Look, give me this. Well, done well, fella. Can't wait to meet back up with the air. Come vape jam. Or get a train down here and get on the cruise with us and go back up there. <laughs> but yeah, um, last one. This is a uh, diamond mist. Really full bodied taste there. Spearmint, where you get a chocolate hit first. And then you get this creamy, sort of cool feel of like ice cream. Then bang, mint at the end. So, yeah, that's my little review. Mm. I'm gonna give this. 7 out of 10. The reason why is I'm not a big sort of menthol minty person. That's it. If you liked mint, chocolate sort of thing, aero mint and that, like, you'll love this. But yeah, as for the whole range, I would say it's definitely worth buying. I get some which I'm like, ooh, you know, at Expo I tasted some that were proper like, ooh, what the fuck are you doing, bro? But these are, um, Surprisingly nice, like I would definitely be purchasing some of these. The first two I like. These got 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for Diamond Mist, 8 out of 10 for uh, Paradise Found, 9 out of 10 for Wanderlust, 9 out of 10 for Maiden Voyage. And I would definitely be purchasing them. If you've seen them about and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, because it's online, I can't try it before. I've just tried them, and guess what? I like them. And guess what you should do? Go buy them. Yeah, man. Loving them. Don't well, DMBB, for the uh, prize. Can't believe I won. And this is a prize which was definitely worth winning, guys. Top quality juice. Made in Britain. Really fresh tasting. Really nice, basically. The brand for logos and the quality, I'll give that 10 out of 10. Perfect, and the little tubes, it's dark in there. Got a little home. Yeah, man. The name, 10 out of 10, Fantastic Voyage. I love it. It's fantastic juice as well, by the way, guys. Get out there, go and buy it. Go and check them out on Facebook. Fantastic Voyage, give them a like. Yes. So yeah, that's been my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're having a good night. Keep vaping, keep it cloudy.